Seattle, Washington. It's week 18 of the NFL on EA Sports. Just to our west, you get a look inside Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the Los Angeles Rams and the Seattle Seahawks. defense ready to go and in good form coming off the shutout a week ago and we'll be watching the play of this man at cornerback now in his fifth NFL campaign and like all of us he's looking to finish strong here it's been a good season for him one that saw him really prove himself as an NFL starter so you know he'll want to see it all the way through to the end a little jet sweep to start the drive and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. These two teams, you may recall, they didn't play each other till late in the year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 13. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. And this will be incomplete. Well, this defense for the Rams, they were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot on almost every snap that the ball was in the... No escape for Locke, and he'll go down. Leonard Floyd drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. getting ready to go on defense. They'll have to defend the short field here as this drive begins with a first and 10. They fake the handoff, now lock. Looking for Lockett and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Week after week, we're seeing plays like this from him. And I think he's in line. We've discussed it before for NFL Defensive Player of the Year. And a big reason why, I think, is because of his ball skills. And that's something that, for guys of his position, they've talked about it for years. They've done the drills. But they've really increased it in recent seasons because of the offense have gotten so good. He knows how to take the ball away. That is huge for a defender. And the Rams defense back onto the field. They lead 7-0, trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is, 
is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 27, lock, open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Heavy set out there on third and one. Lock going to throw. That's to the tight end, Kobe Parkinson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Play action. Now it's Locke. And as he throws and the ball is out, it's a live football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. They look to throw. It's Locke. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. The Rams getting ready to go on defense. They're in a somewhat unenviable position here to start the drive with the ball already up near midfield. Lock off a of play action. Escaping, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Aaron Donald, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Lock, and this will go to Carson out wide. So the completion good for just three. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. On third and long, it's Locke. No escape for Locke, and he'll go down. A shot, Robinson. Too much to handle that time. Gets the sack. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. defense back onto the field 
Their guys have the lead here in this first half. They'll try to further the cause on their end as this drive begins first and ten. Throwing on first down is Locke. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Locke. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. The result, only four yards there on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. getting ready to go on defense. They've had the upper hand so far this first half of play, working with a good lead already as they look to defend this first down. On first down, Locke. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Lock. That one taken in by Dwayne Eskridge. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now it's Carson. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. defense back onto the field they'll play with a lead here to begin this third quarter looking for another solid half of football to carry them to victory they'll start out on the ground with Carson and he'll manage to pick up about four at second down well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and six, just inside the 30. They run again with Carson. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw in his lock. He's got his tight end fan. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. 
And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning it in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. No escape for Locke, and he'll go down. Sean Robinson able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. A lot of ground to cover here for Locke and the Seahawks. Third and long after that sack. Back to throw. Locke. That's complete to DK Metcalf. The 30. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. Into the red zone, it's Lock. And it's intercepted. There he goes, left side. He's at the 30, 10. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Well, I mean, you get it. They're trying to make something happen here in this third quarter, CD, but I don't think a pick six is exactly what they had in mind. No, not at all, because this offense, they've been stuck all game long, haven't dented the scoreboard yet, and they're kind of forced to take a few chances here, and that one, it backfired in a big way. getting ready to go on defense they had the pick six just a moment ago so they're feeling good as they prepare to try and make another stop lock trying again after the pick six and his throw is going to be incomplete I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Lock again here on second and ten. Dumps this one off to Chris Carson. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport steak. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they forced big turnovers already, and it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. And the Rams' defense back onto the field. They pitch the shutout here into the fourth quarter. Been sensational. The question, can they finish it off? They'll need to come up with another stop here. On first and ten, here's Locke. This is the tight end fan. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. 
One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Locks throw into the hands of Lockett. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Here's Locke. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Partner, my vocabulary isn't that great, but to me, there's only one word that fits this front seven today, and that's dominant. Four and five sacks is already rare in one game. Getting to more than six in one contest while winning by this many points? An absolutely astounding effort by every player involved. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second at a country mile. Another try after the first down sack. Lock. That's complete. Hits Carson out of the backfield. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Here's Lock to throw. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed up third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. This one and lock throws another one it's intercepted and the rams are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38 yard line well i guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass either way the ball goes over to the other side he has a tough spot to be in this late in the game and there's not a whole lot he could do there and he winds up giving the ball away getting ready to go on defense they forced the INT on that previous drive and what a season their veteran stalwart is having he has been a ball hawker ever since he joined this franchise and he'll search for more as this next drive gets started try to shake off the interception he'll look to throw they'll run the screen with Carson and he'll get to the 29 yard line brought down there well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout that's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions 
and definitely not a lot of answers. Again, it's lock. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And the Rams are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. How about one last great play defensively, and that should, for all intents and purposes, finish off this shutout. That's as good a defensive performance as we've seen in a long, long time. And I know as a team they will celebrate, but I will guarantee you the defensive guys, they'll get together somewhere and have their own private celebration. A shutout, that's something to be cherished. One team clearly was in control from the start in this one, Charles. They had things humming on the offensive end, a few passing touchdowns, and then their secondary on defense really helped to pitch this shutout. Yeah, they certainly did, Brandon, and let's face it, it may be cliche, but that secondary, they brought their no-fly zone signs to this one, didn't they? Shut down everything in the airways, and conversely, their own offense had its way through the air. They made sure their passing game was humming. So for L.A., they make NFL history with this, their 17th win without a loss. A perfect 17-0 on the regular season. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, this loss will be the capper to what will be a disappointing 5-12 campaign. And with some high picks coming in this spring's draft, it's a team for whom a roster overhaul may be on the way. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.